Today we are going to create a countdown timer using Final Cut Pro. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how you can build a reusable countdown timer using Apple Motion. Here I am in Final Cut Pro and I wanna have a three minute countdown timer. Now we're gonna use a method shown to me by my friend Kevin Colby. He actually has a great video on this exact subject. I will have a link down below. The first thing we'll wanna do is go to our generators. With our generator selected, we're just gonna look up the word timecode and right here we can see it. I'm gonna drag and attach that onto our timeline. What you're first gonna to wanna to do is set up how long you want this timer to be. So right now it's set to 10 seconds. I'm gonna push control D that will allow me to change the duration. Then I'm going to type in three zero zero. That'll be three seconds. Zero zero will make it three minutes. So you can see here in the time code, three minutes, zero zero seconds and zero zero frames. From there, I'm going to push enter. So we now have this three minute long countdown timer. In here, we're gonna go up to our generators. We can go ahead and change the font. I'm gonna change it over to Roboto, which is the font that I happen to like right now. And I'll go ahead and make it bold. Just go ahead and set this up exactly how you would like it. Set the scaling, everything according to taste. And you'll see there's actually on-screen controls here too where we can click and drag this around. I'll go ahead and just get rid of the label. And from there, we can change the font color. Then on the background color option, we're gonna wanna click this down arrow and change the opacity down to zero. So now your numbers should just be looking exactly like this. Select the time code group and you'll see how this counts all the way up to three minutes. I'm gonna right click and select new compound clip. Then we can push okay. Now that it's in a compound clip, Final Cut Pro sees this as its own individual clip, not as a generator. So with that in mind, we can select this clip. We can go up to our retiming editor and actually reverse the clip. So now it's going to be counting backwards from three minutes down to zero. Now you definitely could leave all these numbers up on the screen, all the zeros on the left side and all the frames on the far right, but I prefer to have a much cleaner look. So we're gonna go into our effects and I'm just gonna look up the draw mask. Applying that onto the clip, we can now click around the areas that we want to have this mask. So I will just single out the numbers that we want right here. Okay, so we now have this countdown timer in Final Cut Pro. If we need to move this around, we can use the transform tool. We could slide it down to the bottom right corner, something like that. And and if you want to get really fancy, you could use my free plugin. I'll try and have a link to this down below called Saber. I'll go ahead and apply that on and you'll see how the text has gotten all crazy. We can go in here and edit the settings, get it looking how we like it. So just editing those settings, now we have this really fancy looking countdown. So what if you don't want to build this countdown timer every single time you need a countdown in Final Cut Pro? That is where Apple Motion comes into play because we can build this as a template. What we're gonna do is open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. From there, we are going to select the Final Cut title. Now in the duration settings, it's gonna be important that you set it to the duration of your countdown timer. So if you have a two minute timer, you're gonna to wanna to set it to 120 seconds, but I also recommend that you add at least one or two seconds to the very end. We're gonna make a one minute countdown timer. We're gonna set the duration to 62 seconds. From there, we can push open. Now that we're in motion, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the title background and type text here layers. Then we'll go on over into our generators where we can use the search feature to look up the timecode generator. I'm gonna drag the timecode generator directly into this group. With our timecode selected, we can go to the inspector and find the format options. We'll go ahead and drag up the scale to our liking. We can set the font to whatever we like. Then we can go over to the generator settings and find this current timecode option. It's very important that you disable this. Now that we've done that, we have this value setting. This value setting allows us to set the numbers to whatever we like. So what we're gonna do is set this to one minute. Now because of drop frame, I believe, it's gonna say one minute and four frames. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. What we're gonna do after that is click to add a keyframe Then we're gonna move to the very last second of our project which in this case will be 104 So I'm going to click to add another keyframe there then drag this down to zero and we could do that same with the four So if we play through you can see we have this animation playing out from there We'll come to the last frame. We'll push shift M and this is very important We need to tell Final Cut Pro that this needs to take exactly a minute to play out. So now that we've done that, we can double click that green marker and change it from type standard over to build in mandatory. Then I'll just push okay. So now Final Cut Pro knows exactly how long this should take. 
After that, we can go over to our background color options and click this down arrow. And here at the bottom, you'll see the opacity slider. Now currently, you can't see it, but it does have a backdrop, so we don't want that. I'll just set that opacity down to zero. Finally, we need to mask out our numbers. So with our group selected, this is very important because we cannot mask the timecode directly. So selecting the group, we need to go down to the masking options and select the Bezier mask. Then I'm just gonna quickly mask out the numbers that I want to use. And now that the numbers are masked out, we can send this over to Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna push Command S and we'll just call this one minute timer and we can throw it in whatever category we like. I'll throw it into tutorials and push publish. So with Final Cut Pro open, we can go up to our titles and locate the tutorial category that I put this in. And then we can locate the one minute timer. I'll just go ahead and drag that onto the timeline. And you'll see that now we have this perfect one minute timer happening in our video. And if you happen to extend this countdown timer, it's not going to stretch out the timing of our countdown timer. It's just gonna sit at zero seconds for infinity. So that is how you can create a countdown timer for Final Cut Pro that you can use over and over again. If you're a patron, you'll be able to download five different timers. So hopefully that's helpful to you in some way. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.